all right, this is not some kind of bad joke. Uh, Cuomo came over to Tucker Carlson's house, and uh, here's what happened. That's not what the AUMF is about. That's not what the Constitution's about. And they always brush it off. They always brush it off because that's where we are now. We are stuck in a game that's about nothing but advantage. And I had time to think about all this when I got canned. And to go back and look at what I had been um, about and what I had done and what I had not done. And if, if I were going to come back, because, you know, you're tougher than I am. Um, not physically. I would literally twist you like a bandit. <laughs> but, but, but you are, you, you had more resilience about this than I did. I still feel like I'm on an, one knee and getting back up. And what motivated me to come back was two things, three things. One, my wife told me I had to. Uh, two, you know, she was like, you got to get up and, you know, we got kids. You got to get up. You got to do something with your life that is helping people and making something of this place. That's what we're supposed to be about. You are not about that right now. You are a floor, you're a space rug right now. That's what you are. You're a 230 pound lump on the floor. Get up, do something with your life. Um, okay. Uh, so was that, that your response? Okay. Um, my response was, get away from me and my bottle. <laughs> <laughs> more customers, there's, please. There's more. Um, my response was uh, that I was embarrassed and I knew she was right. But sometimes you know what's right, but you don't, you don't yeah. have the energy, the will, or the self-confidence or belief to do it. So if I were going to get back into this, because there's such a price for entry. And another thing, you know, I was thinking when I was walking around outside, you know, you got security outside your house. And I was thinking to myself, God, I know what this is about. You know, and your kids are older, lucky for you, but they're still, they're still aware. They're still exposed. And I put my family through so much that I didn't understand. All right. Now I have more and put up the picture full mask. My producer, Alex, catched the perfect screenshot. Basically, Tucker Carlson giggled. Uh, he was giddy the whole time. He was so just so happy to have Cuomo at his home. Uh, I got to say this, and we'll keep the picture up. When I watched the interview, Cuomo, ironically, was very transparent. Very, very transparent. And he seemed very authentic in some of his realizations about life and about where he was, what he had encountered and things he had done. There was some cringe moments for me, but overall, he did seem transparent. Carson, on the other hand, uh, he, he was Tucker, all right? He was a little Tuck Tuck. So during a recent interview between the two former cable news stars that aired both on News Nation and the Tucker Carlson Network, Cuomo opened up about his experience getting canned by CNN in 2021. The quote, just heard, you're tougher than I am. Not physically, I will literally twist you like a Band-Aid, said Cuomo. Uh, put up the picture with what Cuomo told Tucker, I would twist you like a Band-Aid. Tucker was like, twist me, please. That's the look he has in the laughter. Look at that. Here's another snippet of the interview. That I was doing at the time because I had blinders on. Got to help Andrew. I, this is wrong. I got to help. I wasn't thinking that my son was having to deal with stuff. Uh, my daughter's, my daughter making up accounts online to defend her uncle. Killed oh. me. Uh, my wife. So dealing with all those things, and it's fine. First of all, good for her. For no, they're good kids. Uncle. They're good kids. They, they got a good genetic selection. <laughs> they got a couple of my good genes, and they got mostly their mom. So they're in good shape. But I said, I want to come back. I want to do this. But I know why now. And I'm only doing this job the way I want to do it and what I think matters about it. And if that's not good for my employer, then I'm done. And I have the podcast. I'm building the podcast, my own platform. I'm going to talk to who I want about what I want. I'm going to focus on what I think matters. And I'm not playing the game. I'm only going to expose the game. And the reason that this is wrong is because everything is about silos and sides. And people will say, no, 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 there's a line. And, and, Tucker is, <laughs> and, and Tucker has crossed that line. <laughs> and I will say, yeah, says who? Says, says you in the media who also cast me out? Not the millions of people who want to take it. Well, that makes it even worse. No, it means that he, it's all, you already have a platform. You already are relevant. Why wouldn't I want to understand this person better when you have the reach that you have?
It doesn't make any sense, except if you're just playing a stupid game that has rules about who you're supposed to like and who you're not supposed to like. And I'm not going to be that for two reasons. One, it's a stupid game. And two, I lost that game. And uh, my critique of this, I actually agree with 50% of what Cuomo said, the other 50% I completely disagree with. I agree with the aspect of his realization that now you have to stop being basically the fetch, the fetch dog for a major corporation. I agree with that. What you do in life, do it because you are purpose to do it. Damn what everybody else says. Do the right thing regardless of the influences that are around you. So that's the 50% I agree with. The 50% I disagree with is the why in reference to a Tucker Carlson and has Tucker Carlson crossed the line. Remember Cuomo, it's not the network who decided Tucker Carlson crossed the line. Millions of people across this country and beyond decided it years ago that Tucker Carlson crossed the line. Influencers in arenas that you respect, Cuomo said Tucker Carlson has crossed the line. This is about the collective opinion of individuals. And at the end of the day, you are accountable to the individuals, people, because people are the ones who consume the content we put out. All right. Still, overall, um, I appreciated the fact that he talked openly about what he went through and his family and him basically drinking and being depressed. It seemed as if he had a very dark, dark time after his um, ouster at CNN, um, but is doing a little better now. Sharon, thoughts here. I think Chris Cuomo was uh, treated horribly by CNN, who made up the rules as they went along and did everything that uh, you analyzed there, Doc, as you chronicled different things. That said, and I think he was very good at his job too. And he is authentic, and it's an authentic conversation to him. It's also a very privileged one. Um, He's a Nepo baby with white privilege who is sitting down doing this conversation with a nut job who giggles too much and doesn't wear (laughs) socks. And I don't know that we got what he wanted us to get out of the conversation. I would have preferred Cuomo, again, who, who I think is a gifted broadcaster, son of a historic governor, if he would have had it in the mirror. Yeah. Just have it in the mirror, Chris. We don't need Tucker. I don't know what Tucker is, except a, a wimp who's been gifted a lot of money and just is bonkers. He's bonkers. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, mediocre at best, yes. right? Uh, it's because he has taken such a narrative, an adverse narrative to reality that those who subscribe to lies give him a platform because he's the fantasy. He's the expression of their fantasy, and he's willing to play that part. Um, showing his disdain for the individuals who actually support him.